Do you leave Cardigale? 105 years ago on Easter Monday, Irish men and women struck for their freedom against the power of the British Empire. And they are our exemplars still today. John McStephan, the head of the IRA in the early 70s, said that the Irish Republicans they can have differences on tactics and strategy, but they must hold to two basic principles. Our goals are a united Ireland and an independent Ireland. But the Irish people alone make our own laws for our own country and for our own good. At the minute, Ireland is at a very, the people of Ireland, we are in a bad place. <clears throat> Not only do we have British rule in the north, we have in the 26 counties, we have a state or state let, which is pretty much controlled by the EU. And many of our laws imposed from Brussels, we cannot change or we cannot stop these laws being imposed upon us. <clears throat> Where the British Empire was imposed by force, it was, and our membership of the EU was voted on, and with the change in the Constitution, 1973, was it? Uh, that still both are very similar, and that the British Empire and the European Union are both political unions in which we are a minority and laws can be uh, imposed upon us by people we didn't vote for and we can't get rid of. We don't only have a problem of external control by London or Brussels, but we also have power exercised by this government at the minute, Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, Greens, but really power doesn't reside with them. I don't think Fianna Fáil like being in power, or Michal Martin uh, certainly doesn't, because uh, once he was in power the last time, they gave over power to the EU Troika. And this time, he's given over power to Nefet, unelected, unaccountable bureaucrats, who we didn't vote for and we can't get rid of, but they make or have influence over huge swathe of our laws. Many people at the minute are demoralized <coughs> because they seen <coughs> an Ireland of their childhood which was young, idealistic. They talked about the freedoms of all its people, working for the benefit of all the people of Ireland. And now we can see a, a country, a statelet, which is corrupt, run pretty much not only by Brussels in the south, but also the power of transnational capital and large multinational corporations such as Facebook and Google and other ones like that which have huge influence in Ireland. They also see, whereas Podrick Pierce, to paraphrase him, said that not for the gale, the loom or the sword, but to be the saviours of social idealism and a Europe that has fallen into darkness. And now our own country is going through a very dark time where, for instance, Sinn Féin ran to the British government looking for them to impose abortion to kill Irish children in the north of Ireland. And the gross barbarity of voters in the south who voted uh, to introduce abortion of our own children in Ireland, both completely immoral and barbaric practices. In regards our own constitution put in 1937, we find that it doesn't contain the mechanisms and the independence of the various institutions in Ireland to defend our natural rights of movement, travel, to work and to see our families. It appears that it's a bit like bog roll, actually, rather than a constitution which defends our rights. So we are in a bad position, but we have to keep up hope and work and endeavour to go back to those ideals of the men and women of 1916 and keep
keep on the struggle for an independent, united Ireland, free of external rule from London or from Brussels, and to weed out the corruption and incompetence of the government in the 26 counties. So I would ask you to join with me and many others in the Irish Freedom Party to work by leafleting, by advocating with your friends and family, by getting on TV and radio where you can, by writing to the local newspaper and organise and leaflet round your local estate to get out the word that we as a proud Irish people in the tradition of those who came before us want a better future not only for ourselves but for our children and grandchildren. So I wish you on Easter Monday, 105 years after the original 1916 Rising, that you join with us and you help us in every way to regain the freedom for our country as a sovereign, independent state, to work against British control in the north of Ireland, and also we work to regain our natural freedoms to work, to travel, and see our family as we please. Well, the good part as well is that uh, the majority of people in the South are turning against the draconian imposition of laws and regulations uh, to prevent our natural freedoms. And we, together, will be able to overcome the corruption and incompetence and power-hungry nature of government in Ireland. So my name is Herman Kelly. I'm president of the Irish Freedom Party. Gorham Agatha.